Good day viewers, just a quick message here. If you stay tuned to the recap portion of the video, you will see me perform a magic trick with this magic stick. And if this video receives at least 90 thumbs up, I will in a future video reveal how to perform this magic trick. So let's see all those thumbs up. And now let's get into the current dig. Getting a few keepers here so far, folks. Well, I got one in the ceiling in here. And uh, I believe it's marmalade jar. I got the light on. Let's go ahead and have a look here. Right there. Good day, folks. Thought I'd get you up here for a quick little intro. Fairly mild day today, so I thought I'd come back down to the hole here. Looks like you're still going to be able to dig, so that's a good thing. Yeah, quite a big tail and pile here. A lot bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> when you step back and look at it, it's a pretty good size. But anyways, I gotta shovel all that out. That big mound there, it's caved in. I think that caved in the last time I was down here. Right before leaving. Might even be able to shovel some of this here too, but I probably won't work in that way today. Anyways, you can see, stuff's melting and it's pretty wet, so... I'm gonna get started. Probably be a messy day today. Okay, see you on a, a first good find, I guess. Okay, folks, looks like the first find is right there. And it looks like a waterman's ink. He's pretty musty. <laughs> musty, yeah. Pretty uh, muddy and rusty. That's a new word. Musty, muddy, and rusty. Waterman's ink, I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah, there it is. And it's embossed up around the shoulder here. It's be hard to see, but that's what it is. Looks to be in fairly good condition. Two ounce. Corked up. Keep going. Just a quick little clip here, folks. I'm digging into the bank, which isn't uh, actually advisable. It'd be more advisable to dig down, but I'm on the side of a hill here, so I'm digging into the bank. But always uh, keep your head up and look up above you. Make sure there's no big rocks or anything that's loose dirt that's going to cave in on you. This spot's pretty good. It's got lots of roots there, so it kind of keeps the ceiling held together, but on the negative side, it can trap big rocks as well, so you got to... Uh, Always look up. Make sure there's nothing above you when you're in there digging. All right. Let's get, uh, let's get at it. Me again. Let's hear it just come out. Is it broke? Is it whole? Is it blown? What is it? Might have been a perfume. It is blown. You can see that. There you can see the, kind of see where the seam ends there on the neck, right there. Cool. All right, that's the keeper. Still here, folks. Always this hurt all going. <laughs> don't let anybody tell you you don't work for your bottles doing this, man. Oh man, we got a cork top in here. Just come out. I did flip it over. I see there is embossing on it, but not quite sure what it is. Possibly a J.R. Watkins. Yep, that's what it is. The J.R. Watkins Company. A cork top bottle. Looks to be in good condition. Let's get it right in the light. Yeah. Just a clear one, but. Okay, onward. There's a site from Heartbreak Hotel there, folks. Check it out. Top to a jug. Broke the... <coughs> Stoneware jug, yeah. That would have been nice. All kinds of broken stoneware in here. 
Maybe we'll get something whole out of here yet. Alright, let's keep going. Well, I finally got one in the sidewall here, folks. This looks like a small, I don't know if it's embossed or not. Um, okay, there it is. Is it a Welch's? It looks like one. It's a little too tall, though, for a Welch's, I'd say. And, uh, oh yeah, the, the uh, finish is busted off top of it there, the crown, part of the crown top. It's not embossed, anyways. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, fuck, I just had that big rock come down off the back wall there. And look what was right behind it, rolled out. Unfortunately, the neck snapped off it. <laughs> I'm going to be keeping it anyways. I might even be able to find the top of it in there somewhere. Wow. First time I found one of these ones. P&B Ginger Bear Beer, Sussex, New Brunswick, Canada. Old English Ginger Beer. Sweet. So there's that ginger beer cleaned up folks unfortunately the top is snapped off it it's a clean break i don't know if i'd be able to repair that in any way or not but uh it's a local bottle from sussex new brunswick canada b and b ginger beer there's a date right here i don't know if you'll be able to make that out or not it says 1911. Well, sometimes the 9 and 19 is upside down but that is not the case in this one if it was, it'd make it an error bottle. Nice looking bottle. First one I have found nearly intact. And uh, hopefully I can pull a, a full one out down there. Because there seems to be quite a bit of pottery and stoneware down in there. So let's get back to the dig. A little overcast. Like I say, it's still nice and mild here though. We've got one sticking out here in the hole. Can you see that right there? Looks like it was right inside this uh, bucket or whatever it was there one time. That was embossed. I'm going to go on a limb and say that's a Sloan's liniment. It is a cork cut. Yep. Oh, nice little corker, sure. Oh, he's taking an embossed corker. Can't rightly tell if that's blown or not, though. We'll have to get it cleaned up. Anyways, there it is. Sloan Winnemont. Okay, I got an amber one in here. Looks like an interesting shape. See that? Right there. There it is. Oh. Yeah. Got that out just in time. This looks like a good one, folks. It's a strap side. Is it embossed? No, it's not. I don't think. No. It's a nice big strap side cork corker though. Looks like it's blown too. Nice thick, wide, strap side one. Cool beans, I'll keep that. Well, just had another big old cave in folks. <laughs> the shovel in here is never ending. But right on top, this here come out. That's gonna be a Sandy McDonald whiskey bottle from the 1930s, I believe. Not sure what's on the base of it. Dominion glass. So yeah, it's most likely from the 30s. Full of dirt too. Anyways, there's that. First time I've seen one of those. A 
another one in here, right here, folks. This looks like a small little bottle, perhaps like an extract. I'd like to find something, maybe like a piece of stoneware or a bottle a little more obscure would be nice, but let's pull this out. It just looks like a, maybe even just a slick. It is. A little cork top though. Well, let's keep digging. I got one more find, folks. I'm not sure how much space I got left on my phone here, but this is a little round cork top. Just come out. I haven't wiped it off or anything. Okay, it's, a, it's just a slicker. God, I was hoping that would be embossed. Almost like a little pumpkin seed, but it's not. It's not embossed. It's cork top, blown by the looks of it. Yeah. This little flask, I guess. Getting a few keepers here so far, folks. But I got one in the ceiling in here. And uh, I believe it's marmalade jar. I got the light on. Let's go ahead and have a look here. Right there. Looks to be in pretty good condition see anything else right away so let's go ahead and pull that yep it's whole let's get out and have a look at it and then I'll probably get out of here today yep all right Wait, this is a big heavy one Big thick lip on it. Nice. Looks to be all in the back though. Good day viewers. Thanks for joining me here for another bottle digging recap portion of the video. A couple of videos ago I found a cruet. When you turn it upside down it's in the shape of a heart. Some of you may remember that. If not, I'll put a picture up now to just sort of jog your memory. Okay, well I gave that to my sister and she had a fantastic idea. She put colored bubble bath in it and set it on a shelf by her bathtub. And I thought that was a great idea so I just wanted to share that with you. And I'll put a couple pictures up of that bottle that she's got the uh, bubble bath in just so you can have a look at that. Okay folks, so the next order of business, as you know, I enjoy putting a little bit of magic in my videos and this one here is no exception. This is my magic stick and as you can see there's three holes in it there and I've got this pin. I got it slightly bent so it doesn't just fall right through. But sometimes it does. I'm going to put that about halfway through as you can see there. And then I'm going to take this magic cloth everything's magic around here I'm gonna cover it over and say the magic words a la peanut butter sandwiches <laughs> when I uncover it check it out the pin has changed hole positions it's now on this one back here rather than the center one okay so if you enjoyed that trick and you enjoyed the video I'd like to see some thumbs up and if I get, we'll say, 90 thumbs up in this video, I will reveal in a future video how I did this trick. Alright, let's get into the finds. Okay, so finally folks, we're into the bottles here. And we got a pretty good mix of finds. Um, all different shapes and sizes and age ranges and... We'll start with this one here, Sandy McDonald Scotch Whiskey Bottle. Check it out. Nice embossing up around the shoulder there. First time I found one of these. That lid doesn't actually belong on it. I put that on it. And this is a bottle from the 1930s. 
Sandy McDonald Scotch Whiskey. Next up we got this ginger beer bottle which is a friggin shame the neck snapped off it. Check it out. First time I'd found uh, this one. Even though it is not complete I'm still going to hang on to it until I find a complete one. And there is a registered date right down here, 1911. Neat little local ginger beer bottle from Sussex, New Brunswick, Canada. Transfer print. And thirdly, we got this lovely strapside blown amber bottle. Unfortunately, it has this big crack all on the back side of it there, which is a friggin' shame because that is one heck of a nice bottle. And moving right along, we got this one here. I know a lot of people want to see this one. It's the James Keeler, I believe that's how that's pronounced, and Sons Dundee Marmalade. I found another one of these not too long ago down in there, but I believe this one here is going to be older than the previous one I found. And you can see all the crackling sort of marks on it. But it is all in one piece. There's no chips out of it or anything. A little bit of base embossing on it. Can't quite make out what that says, but... Uh, Sure, anybody familiar with these probably knows what it says. And then we got a the J.R. Watkins Company bottle. Nice cork top. This one is machine made. And I don't find too many of these ones with that fancy script writing on it. And here you got the Owens Illinois glass mark. And you got a 7 up here with no dot after. So that's going to place that at 1937. 1937. Nice bottle. Then we got the Sloan's Liniment. Well, this one's sort of got a gray shoe to it, which generally indicates like 1915 to 1925. Well, it could be older, it could be, could be newer. That's the general age range for those ones. It is machine made. It's in perfect condition though. And uh, it's a nice little bottle. Sloan's Liniment. Yeah, and then we got uh, this little amber bottle here. Just a slick cork top. The light shining in here kind of funny right now at the moment. But uh, there we are. That's the Lambert cork top. We got a Waterman's ink, shoulder embossed. It's always nice to find one of these shoulder embossed ones because uh, usually they're just base embossed, say Waterman's ink down here. So these are more attractive when they're shoulder embossed. Got the little three in one oil, nice common bottle. The embossing's not real good on this one, but. Uh, Kind of make it out there. Nice little cork top bottle. And next, what I thought was the best find at the dig, probably because it's the first one I've found, is this little flask. It is manganese glass, so that kind of uh, makes it a little more desirable, too. Blown in a mold. Tooled lip. And I believe this is what's going to be called a picnic flask not a pumpkin seed flask. There's a difference. I'm not sure what exactly the difference is, but it seems to me the, the pumpkin seed flask, the shoulders kind of round up more like that. And the picnic flask just seemed to come out and drop down more sloped. But anyways, there it is. Beauty. Happy to find that one. I'm going to leave that in the sun and let that purple up. And finally is just this cork top bottle here, shoulder embossed. Matthew, not really sure what was in that, some sort of product, chemical or something. Here's the base consumer glass mark. After 
1918. So that's going to be it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed seeing the finds. Stay tuned for the next video. Remember, thumbs up all the way. And if I get 90 thumbs up on this video, I will reveal how I did the magic three hole stick trick. All right, over and out, folks. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.